honor and such a pleasure and a, a, a esteemed privilege to be able to lead this council, these beautiful people, and the people that are assembled here in the invocation. <laughs> but wherever you're at, would you just please close your eyes and bow your heads. <clears throat> Say, Father in heaven, we commit this meeting to you. We have come together as a group, united in passion and in purpose. God of love, we trust in you with all our heart and lean not on our own understanding. We acknowledge you in all our ways. As we discuss the affairs of this beautiful valley that you have given us to, to dwell in, we ask for your will to be done. Enlighten us that we may know how you want us to accomplish our tasks. We desire your glory and blessing in all that we do. Direct your thoughts, your words, direct our thoughts, our words, our decisions, and our actions toward the right path. Our heart's desire for the wonderful people that you have entrusted to our care is that they would live in unity and in peace. As your appointed and anointed leaders, we ask your Holy Spirit to enable us to sow love where there is hatred, to sow <coughs> healing where there is injury, to plant seeds of faith where there is doubt, to bring hope where there is despair, to shine a light where there is darkness, to bring joy where there is sadness, to set free where there is bondage, to bring unity where there is division. O Divine Master, grant that we may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love, for it is in giving that we receive, it is in forgiving that we are forgiven, and it is in dying to ourselves that we are better able to serve others. Let this meeting be aligned with your perfect will, and may, and may it be a reflection of your heart's desire for your people, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Justin Salazar Flores, Nanny J. Martinez, Denise D. Benavides, Present. Dorothy D. Valdez, Present. Aaron J. Salazar, Present. Lynette D. Rodriguez, Present. We have a floor. Thank you. Uh, <clears throat> members of the governing body, you have the agenda for tonight's meeting before you. I am recommending the deletion of item seven, business with visitors. We do not have any business with visitors to discuss this meeting. Motion to approve as presented with the exception of the merit recommendation. A motion to approve the amended, amended agenda by Mayor Pro Tem. Thank you, Sue Martinez. Second by Councilor Annette Rodriguez. Under discussion. There being none, I'm going to call for a roll call vote. Mayor Pro 
All in favor? Minette D. Rodriguez. Part of motion. Motion carries. Thank you. Members of the government body, you have to the consent agenda. That's the meeting minutes from May 9th and from May 23rd. And I'd like to thank Ms. Martin for working very diligently to get us caught up on the minutes. I believe we were almost caught up from yes. last summer. Motion to approve. Motion to approve the consent agenda as presented by Mayor Pro Tem. Jesu Martinez. Second. Second by Councilor Regents Benavides. There is no discussion on consent agenda item. A roll call, Ms. Garcia. Mayor Pro Tem KBC Martinez in favor. <coughs> Councilors Dennis Tim Salazar. For the motion. Denise D. Benavides. In favor. Dorothy D. Valdez. For the motion. Aaron J. Salazar. In favor. Nanette D. Rodriguez. For the motion. The motion carries. Thank you. Public comments. Uh, City Clerk's Office handles public comments. Public comment is limited to two minutes. Ms. Garcia. Cynthia Lentani. Cynthia Lentani, I live at 209 South Coronado Avenue. I have a few concerns, so I'm just gonna run down the list. One is a lack of response from you, sir, because you don't know how to answer emails, apparently. Two, I would like to know why we don't make accommodations to have our constituents who are disabled zoom in to ask questions. Beth Likens is a very active constituent here in the city of Espanola, who has re who had surgery several months ago, has been undergoing physical therapy, and has complained significantly over time that she cannot be here, but she wants to be an active part of what's happening here. So can we please take some consideration for our constituents who can't physically get here to let them participate by Zoom? Because they do have comments, they do have things to say. And their voices actually matter, just like the rest of us. Okay? That's two. Number three, I have initiated a petition on change.org to remove Mr. B. Hill as mayor. The purpose of this petition is to get as much attention as possible to the city of Española. Because it seems that the city of Española can't answer emails from constituents, can't offer any assistance, even takes the time to lie to, to our senator about what has been done and what hasn't been done here. So I would really like some attention, and I'm doing everything I can to draw national attention to the amount of corruption that is happening here, and to the amount of just complete disregard for the constituents of the city. It has to stop, okay? That has to stop. The next thing I'd like to bring up is that I have put in an IFRA request for all emails from the city clerk to every single council member here from the period of September 22 to now. I'd like to see all emails that include the text, Cynthia Lentini. Because I understand that the city clerk did send an email explaining that no one is supposed to communicate with me, even though I'm one of your constituents. Thank you, Cynthia. And lastly, I'm going to be putting in another IFRA request for all of your mileage expenditures. Because you're using a city vehicle for your personal business. Thank you. Ms. <clears throat> Garcia. Uh, Martha Fernandez. Thank you, Cynthia. <laughs> Good evening, Mayor, Council members, and all those who are in attendance. My name is Marcia Fernandez, and I would like to address the issue of eliminating this. Can you turn the light closer to you? Uh, Martha Fernandez. <laughs> Can you use your uh, address? Thank you, Cynthia. Yes, my name is Martha Fernandez, and I live uh, on State Road. I would like to address the issue of eliminating the opening prayer, the invocation, and replacing it with a moment of silence as been proposed. I stand in opposition to this proposed action. The supporting stance is that there should be a separation between church and state. Nowhere in the Constitution of the United States is those where to come. 
the phrase has been used by many to circumvent the intent of Jeffers Hines Jefferson when he wrote those words. Stop, 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 man. I think that's very disrespectful. Yeah. That's rude. else here whether you're Buddhist because they don't believe in God or Jesus I'm asking for mutual respect as I have given to you guys oh so often for years now I have come here not once have I sworn at you I have been respectful I have been willing don't I see your face I am not and I've been respectful. I've tried to work with you. I make phone calls daily. I receive phone calls to help rescue animals, to help out the city of Española. I've given, spoken to many people here. 
So, I'm asking for mutual respect from a city that I love to not say the word God or Jesus. It is a mutual respect, even in Alcoholics Anonymous, as a respect for every religion in that group. They say, a higher power of your understanding. That is a blanket statement. I am asking for some respect because I'm here every single meeting. This meeting has never been so packed. And I've come here for years. Thank you, Bethany. Lorenzo Martinez. Good evening, uh, Mayor of the Hill and uh, City Council members. Appreciate you guys having us here this evening. My name is Lorenzo Martinez. I live at 1615 Greenfield Road here in Espanola, New Mexico. Just a little bit of background. I've lived here now for 37 years of my life. My family is born and raised here and have been a staple of this community for many years. I've been involved in youth ministry and worked in juvenile behavior health for well more than 20 years now, uh, both in and out of the ministry, both in the secular world and in the spiritual world. I love this community with everything that I have, and I firmly believe in the power of prayer. And I don't believe in the power of blanket prayer. I believe in the power of prayer to our God. Our God. Our God who loves us regardless of where we are in our lives, regardless of who we are. And I believe this. Here's the, this, this is coming from my heart here, and I hope I don't offend anybody, but the truth is this. If we say a prayer at this council meeting simply because it's something we've done, because we've done it over and over again, throw it out. But if we're saying a prayer because we truly believe that the hand of God governs this community, then we Okay. On January 10th, I got arrested for disorderly conduct for exercising my First Amendment of the Constitution of the United States of Free Speech. <clears throat> Everyone here, we all have rights. But when your feelings infringe on my rights, that's when it stops. You guys get called out by so many Everybody here hates you. Everybody here loves you. You guys get pointed out. You guys get called out. Whatever the case might be. Okay? It's time for change. It's time to do better. We're a community. Community has to be joined together. Can't be divided. Besides the point. Everyone here, I'm not, I don't, I don't live here.